Hello, welcome to the data channel and you are watching Microsoft Fabric uh, tutorial as part of this course. Uh, we will be looking to the next concept that is Microsoft Fabric Direct Lake Mode in Power BI. So this video uh, we will talk uh, about the direct lake concept uh, in uh, when you're talking about Microsoft Fabric and especially if you are a Power BI or a business intelligence person or you come from that world, it will definitely excite you because it is a uh, new t new uh, new concept altogether and uh, so definitely there is a lot to learn and uh, before proceeding if you are new to this channel we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notifications so let's get started so now uh, in the previous video we have already seen uh, what is the concept of one lake right so one lake how uh, how it uh, completely changes the how the the concept of uh, the data is stored right so this is definitely uh, uh, if you are uh, if you're not seen the previous video we would recommend you to please uh, check the previous video in this playlist to understand how the concept of one lake works uh, and how the data is stored in one lake and uh, definitely so as we seen in the previous video right so all these uh, uh, different um, uh, components or the different services especially right like data factory synapse uh, data warehouse data engineering analytics power bi and data activator all the all the services using the same data storage which is one lake and in this video we are uh, mostly talking about uh, this one lake interaction with power bi right so power bi as a service how it is uh, getting the data from one lake right and uh, as this concept uh, uh, basically in this concept right so we will understand uh, how the power bi is uh, connecting uh, to the one lake so definitely as a power bi uh, person you know how you connect to any data source right so there are different way of connecting to the data source right so you have a direct query mode you have a import mode and there is a live mode also so as a power bi developer you know the like might be knowing a uh, few of the details of import mode and uh, direct query mode uh, but uh, we will discuss in detail uh, uh, in this video all right so don't worry if you're not sure about uh, how the import query and direct query works we will definitely just have a heads up on that as well so as you can uh, see this is a overall architecture or overall framework right you can call it as a framework architecture or the uh, designing of uh, like one lake and also one lake how it is interacting with power bi using a direct lake direct lake concept right so this video we are talking mostly about uh, direct lake but before understanding the direct lake we need to understand the direct query mode and the import mode that we already have in power bi right so this are the concept like uh, so like if you are uh, power bi power bi expert uh, you might already know what is direct query and import uh, mode but just to give you the brief a direct query is a it's it's basically a when you are you write a dax uh, query right it, it is converted into sql and sent to the rdbms so here uh, it is uh, sent to any kind of rdbms right and rdbms runs that and send it back to the send it back to the power bi service and uh, it uh, basically depends on the query quality indexes and uh, um, the, the the performance might get impacted because it is a direct query you are connecting directly to the source uh, this might uh, this might be in real time but definitely it is slow because here uh, if the uh, query quality is uh, bad and if there is no indexing and uh, definitely it might uh, hinder the performance and uh, user user experience might uh, might be pretty bad in this case right and uh, as the data volume grows and uh, if there are number of users uh, more number of users coming into the same uh, uh, like power using the same power bi report so this can also have the significant impact on the performance in terms of direct query and coming to the import mode so import mode is uh, much better in terms of performance right uh, it has that is uh, its pros actually because import mode uh, what it does is it imports the data into the power bi uh, workspace right and uh, power bi storage as a uh, and saved it into a proprietary columnar storage so this is a power bi proprietary storm uh, columnar storage so user queries uh, and on demand the data is uh, loaded using this uh, all uh, so this end to end process is done using the memory and ram because you are importing the data into the memory here 
so that is a primary memory so of the power bi that is a columnar format where the data is stored so however the problem here is that the data is not reliable because uh, it, it you might not be using the latest copy of the data because uh, you might be and uh, because it is not a latest copy so what can happen is uh, you need to uh, refresh or uh, you need to schedule the refreshes uh, like maybe every hour or every uh, four hours uh, based on the demand uh, for the for the business or the end users uh, and uh, it this significantly consumes the memory like power bi resource at right? this import mode uh, is works better uh, if you have a less data and uh, like uh, if you if you are having a use case where the data uh, re reliability is not a matter right so in that case we can still use it but uh, what happens is if you are scheduling the refresh every one hour or every three hours or every two hours which which a huge volume so this will significantly consume the power bi resource and it can end up uh, uh, having a giving a lot of cost uh, for that uh, refresh right and uh, parallel you have a live mode so we don't want to discuss about live mode in this um, video it uh, internally because internally uses the import more or direct query mode uh, internally and it is not uh, important to be discussed as part of this scoped uh, video and uh, the finally we will talk about the direct click mode now so direct click mode is uh, pretty much the scenario where we are talking here uh, where it is directly uses the concept of import mode similarly uh, like it it works in like similar to the import mode but uh, what happens or what changes here is uh, so it is interacting with the um, interacting with the one leg directly so in the previous uh, di direct uh, direct query or import mode as you can see there is an intermediate layer uh, where it has to pass us to pass through the analysis service as models and uh, the data which is already there in a parky format or delta format has to be loaded in the analysis service has to be modeled in analysis service so basically you are duplicating the data whatever data is already there in the uh, like in your primary source is copied to the analysis service and if you are opening a power bi desktop or anything so the, the data has to be physically moved to this analysis service and if you are using import mode the data the data is again copied to the uh, power bi uh, primary uh, primary memory and this will significantly cause the duplication of the data so that is what the whole concept of one lake right it wants to avoid the data duplication data redundancy and uh, work on the single copy of the data so that actually is uh, the same concept is uh, being facilitated facilitated here uh, using power bi direct click so because it directly connects to the data itself so there is no data movement happening here as you can see it is directly connecting to the data right and uh, so what happens is uh, like uh, in this uh, but uh, keep the keep in mind that uh, when we use power bi desktop it loads the as in the local machine and do all this processing but here in this model uh, the data is not uh, data is not stored in analysis service but it it, it is stored in one leg so that is uh, that is that is what it it makes significantly faster but internally it actually keep that mind internally the direct lake is also using the import mode but only difference is it is not bringing the data or it is not copying the data uh, into multiple uh, layers especially the analysis service layer okay and uh, here there is no need of import mode but uh, once you start using it uh, you don't uh, need to actually have any case where you want to use the import mode or direct query uh, if you are already having a microsoft fabric inbuilt and one leg enabled for it so uh, yeah unless there is some specific uh, use cases uh, you, you do not use direct query or import mode so you can start directly using the direct leg okay and uh, so you might think about performance how exactly the performance might look like when compared to the uh, direct query or import mode right so the performance uh, is we can say it is equal to the import mode or sometimes better to the uh, import mode uh, it still uses uh, use, use and uh, uh, still use the same concept of import mode but scans the query uh, will go directly to the delta uh, delta or the parky formats which is stored in the one lake instead of uh, passing through the analysis service so that will uh, significantly improve the performance and also note the parquet is a columnar format so similar to analysis service model uh, where you are bringing the data and converting it to the columnar format or in the if you are using import mode where the data is coming as stored as a columnar format right in the power bi uh, memory or uh, cache so, so uh, the parquet format is already a, a 
is optimized for the good performance and it is already a columnar format uh, so that that way it actually already signifies uh, to the great performance and also we have a concept of v order which uh, um, which is built on top of the delta lake uh, or the parky formats so that we will see how exactly that concept wo works like in the future videos and uh, so this will definitely completely change uh, how the power bi developers uh, used to work right the power bi developers used to struggle a lot in terms of uh, using the direct query import mode so if it is a real time data which is coming in definitely they were feeling uh, they were having facing a lot of uh, uh, issues in terms of performance and uh, if they are using uh, import mode uh, they they need to worry about uh, how to schedule this right and uh, and also uh, apart from all of this just think over right so as a power bi developer getting the data getting the access to the data so that was a very uh, tedious uh, option a tedious process for them so now the data is already available in one lake so they can uh, pretty much start working from the day one here right uh, so there is no need of uh, depending on any teams because you have direct access to the one lake so only thing is at tenant level you need to have access to that workspace that you are working where the data is located right but uh, so only one thing we need to keep in mind is uh, this will work the microsoft um, fabric one lake and the direct especially the direct lake uh, connect connectivity using power bi will work only in terms of power bi premium or you need to have a microsoft fabric uh, sql uh, like equivalents and also power bi desktop uh, it will not going to work so you need to have the premium version of power bi so hope this was useful and thanks for watching